Welcome to day two of trying to get the engine out of this Daihatsu charade. Uh, we probably need to explain some things because uh, I think the first video will probably have triggered some comments judging just by posts we put on social media yesterday. Um, so I'm actually going to take this out of here. Haha! Uh, to discuss the engine crane. Uh, the engine crane currently has a new engine on it. Obviously people may well be thinking why have you done that? Surely you need to use the crane to get and the old do. engine out. Well, we probably do. We do, but this yeah. was on a pallet and it was laid down and it's filled with oil. Yeah, so we wanted, we're trying this, to minimize, wanted this engine back up right Minimize again. smokification. Yes, because mm -hmm. I imagine the cylinder bores, because it was lying down full of oil, cylinder bores probably full of oil. So while she can be upright, she's going to be upright. And the other thing we wanted to do was just test the technology we got here. And it's a good job we did, isn't it? Yeah, and also it just gives you visibility, doesn't it? For, mm. the, for Because this is a very tight engine bay, if we can see it there, you can yeah. kind of visualise it better there. Yeah, especially as I think we're going to be taking manifolds off. And we may not, we may, we may not. I'm not entirely sure yet, but at least we can see what we need to around the back. So it will it be coming off. But obviously. we did also have a disaster with levelling bar. Uh, there wasn't a split pin in this nut. So when we screwed the screw to um, try and adjust the balance, uh, it actually fell off. And we had the whole engine hanging off this one point mm -hmm. here. So... Um, Kudos to that leveller, it put up with that abuse. It did very well, yeah. And I, I, I'm not sure whether that's when I got my engine injury mm. or when I fell off the pallets. What yeah, <laughs> it could, could be my, minor leg injury caused by slightly fally engine. But yeah, yeah, we just wanted to test our mounting points, make sure it works. Mm -hmm. It's been hanging there all night. So we've tested that A, this holds hydraulic pressure and it isn't dropping. And B, that our mounting points do seem strong enough, mm -hmm. which is good. It's a very lightweight little engine. They will be getting a bit more tested when it comes to taking out, because we've been chatting to various folk. Um, two of the key people um, involved with rescuing Betty after her um, little office incident in Lincolnshire. <laughs> Both the parties involved with that were discussing this. They're considerably more experienced getting engines in and out. And I think we are likely to be taking engine and gearbox out, which means that actually we might well be using some different mounts because we might be able to use um, some bolt holes down and here, some, I think. Something else to grip onto, because at the moment yeah, it's very Don't point at that, that's actually holding the gearbox to the engine. And uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how long those bolts are. We'll whip one out and have a look and see if we can use that to support mm -hmm. it. Oh, our chain has got really small links. But yeah, we've got coolant hoses disconnected. Exhaust is still sitting there for now. I think we might want to take the exhaust off completely, uh, because... It's likely we're going to be dropping this down and bringing it out mm. underneath this. I mean, this I might is... take that off just to give us a bit more clearance. Yeah, and I mean, this is a difficulty in itself because it's absolutely... Yeah, it's absolutely seized. Mm. It likes it there. Yeah. It might actually be the catalytic converter we've got sat in there. Because I noticed we've got um, O2 sensors before and after. So that's, that could be what that is. Ah, In which okay. case, we don't want to be replacing no, that. No, we don't. That would be, that would be expensive. <laughs> expensive. Yes. First thing today, once we've consumed tea, we're a bit late getting here because we did a bit of shop packing this morning. Mm -hmm. um, drain fluids out of engine and gearbox, purely to reduce spillage in the case of the engine. Um, if we do do something that upsets it, there's less in there, it's a bit less weight. And gearbox, the drive shafts are going to have to come out and that's going to make a mess. And some rust removal. <laughs> yeah, rust removal are plenty, the state yeah. of this, blimey. It's everywhere. Yeah. So, we're, we're, yeah, there's lots to do. So we better stop talking. Uh, mm. We'll drink tea and crack on. It's very important drink tea. We'll see. Okay, Mr. Tubnut, so you got your head underneath. Shemi, what are you doing exactly right now? Trying to find a drain bung at the moment. Lovely. I thought Is that, that was the gearbox? This. Yeah, but that doesn't look like it at all. Marvellous. Maybe it is. Now we could time lapse this or I could stop and then we we'll do an amazing successful bit in a minute where you get find it and it's draining nicely. Yeah, I think we'll wait for amazing success. Cool, okay. Gearbox oil is draining, it looks nice and clean. So it's a bit of a shame we're draining it really. Uh, Miss Hubner is just removing the battery tray to get us a bit more access. I've no idea how you remove the drive shafts. So this is going to be an education. Everything's an education, dear. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to jack her up and get the front wheels off. Um, undo the hub nut. Way. Uh, I should think. And then um, mm. maybe you can slide them more into the gearbox. It seems to be clipped them. on there as well. 
That's a fine sounding theory, isn't it? Um, it's a very, very long time since I removed the drive we'll shaft. We'll be bagging those in a second. We, we may need Don't to uh, remove four joints. Uh, I've got a clip here. How I'm not drink, I'm talking to camera and being like really creative. Okay, sorry, you be creative. Uh, yeah, be um, might have to remove ball joints so we can pull the arms out at the bottom to get the drive shafts out. My hands now stink of gearbox oil. Sorry, what were you saying, dear? There's a clip on here. Um, oh yeah, wiring's clipped to it somewhere. Mm-hmm. How's it clipped in? It seems to be broken. Oh yeah, uh, there's no prizing off there, but look at it. So your screwdriver? Yeah, because we haven't got the proper prizing tools. Did you put screwdriver back in the box? Maybe. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we've got the front wheels off. We've got a jacked up front and back um, because we're currently trying to take out the exhaust, aren't we, dear? Must have nuts deep in thought trying to find the relevant tools. So yeah, um, hopefully the exhaust is going to come out in two parts because the one part Yeah, the, ex the exhaust is one part from there until about here. Mm -hmm. And then there's a tailpipe section and I think we've got to take the tailpipe section off to be able to rotate the rest of the exhaust enough to clear Yeah, the currently energy. it's kind of a crystal maze situation, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Great fun. Uh, and we did solve the conundrum of the exhaust. It was stuck onto a rubber hook at the back, so that gave us the room for manoeuvres. It hasn't come entirely out because I'm not entirely sure how we would exactly do that, um, but it's cleared the space enough for us to get the engine out. So, uh, Mr. Hubnut, what are you up to? Uh, I'm trying to find a punch. Because oh, what's happening next? Uh, Hubnuts! Hey! Oh, it's been ages since we've actually done a Hubnut on this channel. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. Monumentous. So we've got to knock this peen out. <laughs> peen. Yeah. This, this nut looks like it's been peened rather too many times in its life already. Too much peen. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely done. So we knock the peening out, and then we can hopefully undo that. Now obviously when we put it back, well we won't put that one back, we'll have to order new ones because that one's damaged. Have we not got we new ones? Correctly. Because we did have... This, this would be a good time to do discs by the way, you know. What did I say earlier? Because these are really rusty. You did say that earlier. I distinctly heard the words, oh no, they're fine. Yeah, discs and pads will do while we're in here because we've got them. We're also going to clean the wheel up. Oh, we had a problem with hardware, didn't we? We got the right hardware now. Yeah, we did. Um, we got one set, realised it was the wrong set, so you bought another set. Okay. I need to work out how big that is exactly. Right, suck it right, right away. Oh, this is unheard. 32 mil, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that feels sloppy as anything on that side. Not 32 mil. Maybe not 32. <laughs> Maybe 30. It'd be really funny if we got different nuts each side. Hilarious. So what is the objective? What are we removing now? Uh, this is so we can get the drive shafts out. Effectively that nut acts on the end of the drive shaft. Yeah, we've got different size nuts each side. Fabulous. Yeah. So we've just done some hard application of brakes and now... That is your actual hub nut, but I think... We'll get a new one of them. It looks a little, a little, um... But yeah, very interesting. If I grab the other side... Okay. They Are they different sizes? Yeah, the other side is considerably larger. But they've got the same thread. But yeah, that, that one's seen some action, man. That's, yeah. So, um, well, we could probably get away with reusing that one. It looks a bit misshapen. Yeah, I think we might as well just get new ones. So, in anticipation of a ball joint splitter, because it seems we've gone AWOL, um, and Can you believe it? It's we're not. That's not coming apart. Um, I have tried smacking it a lot with a hammer. There was some hammer action, and hammer action got something stuck among. Anyway, moving on. What are we doing now? Uh, just disconnecting all the wiring. Uh, there are many multi plugs for all manner of things I don't know anything about. <laughs> Should we be taking pictures of each bit of this? I've taken one picture. Surely that's all we need. Should it not be take out a thing, take a picture? Let's not overcomplicate matters. Mm -hmm. If we do things too professionally, people will think we're not hubnut anymore. I wanted to change gloves. I just haven't got any tactile nature with those. No, you just can't do anything precise, can you? 
No. It's really frustrating. But then, similarly, nitrile gloves don't um, protect offer your hands. very much protection. That's it. Maybe we found our niche in life. We'll make a hybrid. Well, surely someone knew how to make the perfect glove they already would have done. Yeah, but maybe we're onto something. You never know. Mm -hmm. So we've just removed the throttle assembly to get access to the injectors, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's another wire down there. What's that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Mystery wire. No, this is the thing. So we can come over here and look at the back of yeah, this, this engine. this has been very helpful as to how to clip them off and so on, hasn't it? Yeah. So where is it? It's... That in. one there, that's what it is. Okay. Oil pressure, I would say. But okay. that shows me what I need to do to release it. Give it a grip like that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I've just got to do it without being able to see it. And the problem is, these clips are getting older now. Yeah, they They're would have been not very as flexible easy to pop as off. they were. They're older plastic now, it's a little bit more difficult. But uh, we're, we're literally a couple of wires away from having the loom completely off. I think we've still got to disconnect the starter motor. And there's a couple of earth cables, but the main loom. That engine actually has the loom on it all the way through to the inside of the car, which I guess is where the ECU is. But I don't really want to get into dismantling that. I no. thought it'd be easier. No, no. Give, given getting the clips undone is a difficult bit, clipping everything back on, piece of cake. Um, he says. Well, that's it for another day, but I don't think it's quite the end of this video because uh, I'm not going to be satisfied until we've got this engine out. So we'll, no, uh, that was the objective today and we're yeah, not quite there, are we? We just haven't quite got there. It just takes so long to do some of these jobs. We've even had to remove the throttle body just to um, get a bit more access. But we are getting close. We've got starter wiring, there's some few vacuum hoses, uh, clutch cable, gear linkage. Um, and we're going to have to come back with a ball joint splitter anyway because we can't get the drive shaft out. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, unforeseen difficulties. But, uh, yeah, we'll sure order some bits and crack on with it and you will see that um, in the next bit of this video I think. It's a beautiful day in paradise, we are back uh, on the Daihatsu Charade. Uh, Miss Hubner appears to be getting ready to attack this cross member with uh, a wire brush. Uh, meanwhile I've been acquiring bits that will hopefully help. I got a ball joint separator uh, and then I bought these slightly knockoff um, nut removers. So um, hopefully that will help get the in that exhaust manifold off. You'll have to excuse um, scratchy noises. Of I just realised I won't do the scratchy noises just yet. Yeah, yeah. What we we didn't surprised? think that one through, did we? What were you surprised by, dear, when I set myself up? Uh, the surprise you were capturing the dirt on a sheet of plastic. Crazy times. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, so, yeah, t today we need to do everything to get the gearbox um, disconnected, which includes drive shafts. I bought the ball joint splitter, but actually um, my, my friends um, Andrew in Melbourne and Eddie in Lincolnshire, both um, hugely important to the Betty project after she had her little off, uh, were having a discussion on Twitter saying I should be able to get the drive shaft out if I just put it on the lock. And, yeah, full uh, lock, wasn't it? Yeah, full lock. I might be able to sort of ping the drive shaft out without having to disconnect absolutely everything, which would save time and effort, I think. Are we so. trying that first? Yeah, we're, we are going to try that. And then we've got to disconnect the clutch, uh, the gear linkages, and then it's a case of going around fuel lines. And um, I think I did electrical connectors last time. So yes, hopefully, you did. You did do we were getting very close to being able to drop the engine onto my new cradle which the internet has been laughing at mightily already and uh and get it out okay so we got it on full lock uh, i'm just going to gently tap it with a soft blow fairly soft headed uh, mallet i've put this the bolt sorry the drive shaft nut back on so i'll just give that a tap oh yeah that seems to be going backwards and maybe there's something in this turn that off now um actually could you bunger on straight Yep. <laughs> That'll do you. Shall I stay here in case you decide to change direction again? That's a very good idea. Yes. Yeah, that feels like it wants to go. Yeah, so go full again. Full left. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that just doesn't want to come out. We might have more luck the other side where the drive shaft's longer. 
No, Jay? No. Ah, the other option might be to loosen these two nuts at the bottom of the strut. And then we could lever that away. That might do it. Let's go there. Can I have the wire brush, please? The little one? Uh, any wire brush will any, do. Any wire brush. Do you know what? I will get you another, another one because oh. mine are a bit dirty right now. I'm not to be trusted with her wire brushes. That's what it is. No. No, mine are... Actually, I don't know why I'm bothering to give you a clean one because you're just about to... And the the old penetrating oil. We. Where did you... Sorry. Let's try and get these spanners going in opposite directions. There we go. Yes, yeah, I might concede it's probably time I should be getting an ugga dugga gun. I feel a lot more comfortable if I was actually wearing my gloves and a lot less dirty. Mm. I'm good at this. What, the gloves that you picked up and then put down? Yeah. Oh, okay. I took them off to drink tea. <laughs> Serious business. My tea is important. Mm -hmm. There we go. So perhaps with those out, we can um, get just that bit of movement we need. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, there we go. This is going to work. And the dry shaft magically comes free, he says. <laughs> Did it magically come free? Very nearly magically comes free. Come on, yes so Hey! <laughs> I've actually achieved it. Well done, darling. I don't know what, if anything, holds the drive shaft into the gearbox. Probably time to read the manual. In the meantime, Miss Hubnut is cleaning up panels as best she can. We've got some rust converter on these ones have been cleaned up. Yeah, it's hard to know how far to go, really, because this is already much better than it was. But how much more should I be taking off? Well, because... we've got to get it clean enough so the rust converter can actually act on the rust. Yeah using Vactan rust converter. I've remembered I actually do own the world's biggest, heaviest Ugga Dugga. Yeah. Rubbish. Back we go to the old traditional techniques. I think I, I maybe need a better Ugga Dugga than that one. That one's just huge and can't actually get in on anything. Would an Ugga Dugga be helpful for me and removing tires? Uh, no. No? Why would you want to remove tires? Or whatever. Oh, for wheel nuts, I suppose, yeah. I'm going to try it on this one. I'm going to try not to lose my temper quite so readily. That's doing absolutely nothing. Apart from making an awful lot of noise. Did you throw it? Only slightly. There we go. The joys of the long bar. Once again, Ugga Dugga nil, long bar, all of the scoring. Okay, so now I should be able to pull that down and we should be able to encourage the drive shaft out. Oh yeah, there we go. As I suspected, easier this side because you've got a much longer drive shaft. There's a bit more scope for pulling it out the way. Uh, now we've just got to disconnect the um, inner side, which is to basically get the gator off. Uh, I don't know the correct way of getting those things undone, so I'll just make up my own way. And then we've got the shafts out. So we're getting closer, just very, very slowly. So what are you currently doing? Trying to release the dry shaft boots so we can get the dry shaft out. This side made more fun because someone's put a f***ing engine mounting in the way. But there's some fancy pants tool you meant to have to get these clips off, I think, and I don't know what it is. So I'm really struggling. Do we have fancy pants tools? Nope. Keep going. There we go. That's the clip, I have no idea how it attaches. That looks quite fascinating. Oh, you're recording all that. Apparently. Uh, no, you were recording all that. Oh. I just assumed you wanted it on. Well, we are getting closer. Two drive shafts have now been removed. Miss Hubner is starting to try and clean up her job, a fairly thankless task. We've got the new engine resting in one of Betty's old tyres. Uh, the hoist stands poised and ready. We're not quite there yet, just still got to make sure there's a few hoses and things we've got to disconnect. And I may take the exhaust manifold off now, or maybe we can actually make use of that for lifting, I don't know. But we, we lifted that engine Sugar. using one of those um, bolts on the manifold. 
Oops. So we may have to do that. You're having fun now, dear? Yes, I'm having a while this time. But yeah, we need to disconnect the clutch, disconnect the um, gear selector, and then there's just a few hoses. And uh, I think we're dangerously close. Well, here we are. We're actually at the stage of getting ready to attach this. We can't just use the crane to lift it out because we've got a front slam panel that I'm not willing to cut and convert the bolt on. Um, I quite like it where it is. So the plan is to lower the engine and gearbox down onto my plywood trolley, which actually is actually sitting on the legs of the engine crane. So we can lower it down, disconnect it, and then still use the engine crane to pull it out. That seems like a good idea to me. So we'll, we'll get it all connected up and see whether I actually called that right. In which case, I'll be very glad I didn't actually chop down my um, I know. My trolley board. Fate, could be fate, it could be. Well, I think we're there. We've got the um, engine hoist lifting to the point it's starting to lift the car up. So uh, it's time to swallow brave pills and start disconnecting engine mounts and hope we've got this right. Uh, there's two 14s, I think, there. I think they are 14s there on the gearbox mount that hasn't been done up properly before because someone's been here before and uh, they didn't do a very good job of it. Not us. I think it was when the clutch was done. They didn't bother putting the um, gearbox mount in properly. Ooh. I mean, you want your engine mounts to be fairly tight, don't you? Well, you would hope so. Yeah. Ooh, you crack. Yeah, there we go. That's that one cracked, I think. Let's just quick check that is actually turning. Yeah. This is the way with Japanese stuff. It tends to be really, really tight, and then it cracks, and it's lovely and loose. Um, this might actually be a good idea to get the uh, big long bar out to crack these. Slightly more control. Yeah, I'd say that. That's a little more controlled. Should I have those bolts? Yep, you should, probably should have these bolts there. Just doesn't hurt to keep looking when you're doing this sort of thing. Yep, I think we're both watching it intently. Yep. What I've neglected to consider is there's an, a mounting right at the back, I think, a kind of steady bar. Hmm, they don't want to play. Possibly because they're so out of alignment anyway. Yeah, there's a little weight coming off that mount a bit, but we are starting to lift. Yeah, it's... Oh, no, there we go. I can see it starting to... Yeah. There's the gearbox going. Oh, there we go. That's where we want to be. Oh, we're leaking something. Are we? Yeah. Oh, Quite yeah. significantly. Oh, petrol. Okay. We're emptying the injector rail. Oh, that really doesn't want to undo. This is weird. This isn't even... It's weird, isn't it? Oh, this isn't even tight. Now, the mount is moving around quite freely. But the bolt is absolutely not. Yeah, that one that was stuck uh, snapped in the end. We've got the big breaker bar on it, but it's seized in the bottom half. But quite how it had managed to seize when it wasn't even tight, I don't know. Slightly alarming. It was very odd, the bottom wasn't moving at all. No. Well, that's because the bottom is still there. No, that, but that's what I'm saying, it's, it's strange. It felt like but it this should be the last bolt now, which is why I'm starting to feel a little trepidation. Maybe I won't stand underneath the hoist while we do this last one. Lovely view of my behind for the people there. Uh, I think we're start, ready to start coming down. Okay, yeah. how are we doing that? Yeah, there we go. We are dangling. That's officially a dangling engine. Oh, crikey. Right, where do you want me? Um, on the screw. On the screw? Yeah, the screw down there. The knob. The knob, whatever you want to right. call it. And gently lower? Gently lower and we'll see if we, this works. I've got to pull it ooh, yeah, away from the... That's okay. Go okay, down. keep going. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, the pipe's at the back. We're yeah, it's all just wiring just caught brand new that manifold, I think. One or two hoses trying to come out even though we don't want them to. Okay, I'm going to have to keep pulling it forward to make sure okay, we clear the... Carry on. Hold on. Say when. Oh, hold on. We're all caught up on the air conditioning pipes over here as well. 101 different things to try and look at. Okay, go for lower. Gent gently! Oh, yeah. 
um, kick the trolley that way a bit. You've caught up on the air conditioning again up here. Yeah, big problem is we're catching the inlet manifold um, on the well, back here. Does she need to come any lower or should we manually go from here? No, it's got to come down. Okay, okay. Ready? Oh, yeah, let's make sure I'm not Gently caught up in the hoist. Lower. Okay, we really need to try and pull it this way. If we can, I think. Oh, no, we can. Oh, okay. I think I need to try and squeeze this side a bit more onto the board. Yeah, we're coming off the back of it. Okay. Here's some tools. So what are we doing? Trying to get the board back. Uh, trying to pull this forward. Forward, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes a load of coolant. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. um, let's lift it up again a bit more. Because we are scooting way out on this. Can I push mine? Yep. In case of trying to pull a tire, I think. Oh, you can rotate that, that's convenient. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right, if you keep pulling on the exhaust manifold, just pull it like that. Yep. And I think we're all clear at the back, yeah. That's coming out lovely. Beautiful. There we go, we are way yeah. down. But the easiest thing to do at this point, I think, is try and unhook it. No, maybe not. <laughs> oh, the engine hoist getting all caught up in the air compart. There we go. So now, if you I'll steady just the engine, we are going back, so don't get squashed. Okay, so steady and go oh, back. Oh. I've got to crane back up again. Put down the slam panel now. These things are never quick enough. It isn't, but I guess it's safety, isn't it? Well, by hub nut standards, this was a piece of cake extraction. Done far worse in the past. Let's just have a last check. This wire is definitely not attached. Aircon pipes slightly bent, but it's all broken anyway. And are you ready to start coming back? Yeah. There we go. That is a major moment. The engine is out. Uh, can you see where I've been cleaning? Uh, yeah, because it's all clean over this side. <laughs> the rest of the engine bay, not so much. That's cool. That's next. Well, how stable is that? Is that feeling okay? Um, no, I couldn't let it go. Okay. Oh. But, uh, which is good, because we've just about run out of tinkering time today. Yep. We've got to get back. It's St. David's Day here in um, Wales. So, happy St. David's Day, or... Do you go in Dairy Happies? If you're of a Welsh persuasion, we will be eating um, Welsh cakes later. Is and pancakes, because it's also Pancake Day. Yeah, we... See, Pancake Day is quite important to me, because Miss Hub... Mini... Miss, little Miss Hubnut, rather. She's not very little though. Was born on Pancake Day, so we always celebrate ah. Pancake Day. That's why we had Welsh cakes this morning. Pancake so is Pancake this Day evening. late? Oh, of course, it moves around. Isn't it? Yeah. It was. Well, we're getting away from the point. The, the, the point is, we have done it. We've extracted the engine. Uh, so um, we're not going to be rushing the new engine in. The new engine, we need to put a timing belt on, water pump, work out what we're going to do with the clutch, swap the gearbox over. Uh, so there's still a fair bit Which to do. Which gives me a cleaning time. Yeah, I'm slightly annoyed. I should have an engine stand, um, but DPD have oh, monumentally don't. let us down. They just won't deliver anything at the moment. And uh, I think that's even gone back to the supplier. So that's going to make the cam belt job a little more tricky, but maybe my tyre system <laughs> will work. Yeah, this was a suggestion by various people on the um on Yeah, the thank videos, you. And I'm, I'm so glad I didn't go shorter on my board. Everyone's saying chop my board up, but actually... We've ended up straddling the engine hoist. That's worked really well. Yeah, it's worked really well, actually. Yeah, yeah. one of the ones that suggested it was Finley. So uh, thanks, Finley. Yeah, thanks, Finley. And uh, yeah, everyone else, thank you for watching. We're, we're going to leave that there. Um, next stage, obviously, is to start working on that engine. <laughs> I feel victorious. Luke. Yeah, while you're working on the um, on cleaning up the engine bay. 
and uh, between us, um, hopefully we'll get things done. So yeah. there we go. Finally got to the end of a video. It's been a long time coming, this one. <laughs> I didn't want to make another video or release another video without that engine coming out. So um, I'm so very we've glad we've been sitting on the material for this for a little while, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's taken a couple of weeks to get here. Cause... And for those concerned about the bonnet, I have put it over there. It's stood on plastic and tyres to make sure it doesn't Oh, there we damaged. go. Yeah. So... Sorry, Sana. Yes. The sun, the sun is still here at the moment. Hopefully that will be disappearing at some point. But uh, yeah, I'm really pleased about that. That's um, excellent progress. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for watching so far. Thanks for the supportive comments. Thanks for the constructive feedback as well. It, it is useful. I don't always have a clue what I'm doing. Um, had you noticed? You probably had very noticed. Subtle, darling. Yeah, but uh, yeah, really, really pleasing. So um, if you wish to support what we do, you can head to the Hubnut store and buy lovely merchandise. You can go to the Patreon page. Uh, you can become a channel member on um, YouTube or there's a direct PayPal if you just want to lob a few quid in the hat. All this is in the description below, but we're going home now. So farewell and we'll see you in another video. Bye. Crusty. <laughs>